welcome back to my channel. My name is Kerry. Thank you for choosing to watch my video today. If you haven't been here before, welcome. And I thought I would start by saying a little couple of things about us. So I know there's a couple of new subscribers, so you might not know what we're about or who we are. But I'm Kerry. As I said, I am 44 years of age and we live in Northumberland. I have three children, one whom is grown up and lives in his own house and my husband lives here with me and our two youngest children, Isaac and Aries. Isaac is six, seven, seven. Aries is six, Isaac is seven. And they all eat everything. I don't eat meat and fish. So sometimes you're gonna get a bit of a variation and here you might get some ideas for meat-free meals or how to incorporate both things in a meal if you have a mixed household. I didn't realise how many people lived in mixed households where there was one or maybe two people who didn't eat meat and fish and or were vegan and the other rest of the family did. But yes, that's how we eat and also there may be the odd shopping haul, the odd day in the life or anything else I feel like doing. <laughs> but today's video is Meals of the Week. It has been a mixed week. As you all know, or most of you know, Aries has had cochlear implant surgery a few days ago, um, bilateral, so on both sides, and it's been really, really tough. So, some nice and easy meals. I skipped one day because we didn't eat together. There was a takeaway involved with seeing Isaac, and I just had something late at night. But apart from that, here are all of the other meals that we ate last week. Monday, as always, something nice and easy. This is bolognese out of the freezer. It was from a big lasagna dish I made before we went away in the caravan. So I've just took the bolognese out, added some water to it because it's never saucy enough when you take it out. I don't think so anyway. A little bit more Henderson's relish. And they made some spaghetti. And this garlic bread is actually just a baguette that I've added garlic butter to part way through it cooking. Took it out, chopped it up, added the... Uh, butter and garlic to it that I'd mixed up together. And there we go. Spaghetti, meat-free bolognese. Yummy, delicious for a Monday night. We are having jacket potatoes for tea. We've got cheese and beans. I've put some butter on them and then a little mozzarella and cheddar, then some beans and then more mozzarella and cheddar. There's only a tiny bit underneath, but it makes it lovely and stringy and gooey. It's absolutely delicious. So there is our tea another nice and easy one we've been homeschooling today Iris is not at school so she doesn't get poorly or have a bump or anything just to keep her nice and healthy uh, for surgery so I've been teacher and I'm exhausted <laughs> it's tiring it's hard work so there is this evening's yummy yummy simple tea so this was supposed to be sausage and mash my gravy's runny my mash is watery my Glamorgan sausages didn't cook properly follow me over here they're burnt. <laughs> that didn't cook properly. They're burnt. I've got some patties left. I'm going to put those in the fridge. So I saved two and I've put it in a sandwich. And with some cheese, I'm using this stuff. Oak, smoked pepper, mature cheddar slices and some HP sauce. And Steve has got an egg with his and Isaac's got an egg and Eris has got red sauce. Ketchup. That's all we're doing. We're having sandwiches. My head's all over the place, uh, worrying about tomorrow, so I don't know what went wrong with tea, but it just went disastrously wrong. So this is what we're having instead. There is no uh, tea from yesterday because Eris was in hospital and we didn't really eat. Um, Steve and Isaac had a KFC and I had a very quick bowl of pasta with just some stirring sauce at about nine o'clock last night. So this is today, the next day. And the Eris has asked for pizza, so I'm just giving her anything she likes to help her to eat because she's taking painkillers. Um, so we've got the uh, takeaway, the pizza company takeaway pizzas from Tesco. As you can see, I've got pepperoni or pepperoni supreme or whatever it's called. It's Eris and I have got cheese feast and we've got some chips as well. There's my Steve's plates. I just haven't put our pizza on. We're all having the same thing, just a nice, easy pizza for tea and then I'm going to go in there, catch up on some sleep. We are having a fake Aldi dinner this evening. I've got the box. I will show you the box. It's this one. It's this Munch Southern Style Chicken and Chips, um, like a KFC fake away, apparently. And it's a popcorn chicken, Southern Fried, goujons, some chips, 
and Southern style gravy. The gravy is really nice. I've tasted that. And I've just put a side salad on for everybody. So they've got a bit of greens and I'm having a vegetable green cuisine, vegetable quarter pounder with some uh, Jersey Royals and a great big salad. There we go. There's tonight's tea. I'm shattered. That's all I can manage today. And I'm hoping for a good night's sleep tonight. Here is this evening's tea. I've made a sort of a dinner. It's Sunday. So we've got lentil cottage pie. There it is in the tray and all the other things. And we've got cauliflower cheese with it, some Paxo sage and onion stuffing and some sweet corn and some peas. There we are. I'll pop a link in the description box below for the recipe if anyone's interested. If you're looking for a meat-free alternative that feels like a proper dinner, this is a really, really good one to try. There we go. Hope you've had a lovely Sunday. So there we go. That's what we ate. I hope it gives you a bit of inspiration or a bit of, oh, we didn't eat so good this week either. That's fine. We're not the only ones. But um, yeah, thanks for watching the video. And Eris is doing great. Today is the best day she's had. It's been incredibly, incredibly, incredibly hard. I am absolutely exhausted. I'm so tired. Today, I feel like I'm just crashing and I've been on high alert and all of a sudden I've just, I've hit the floor and I can't do any more. So hopefully I can just get better from here. We're just waiting for our next appointments with her surgeon to check her all over. But so far, so good. So thank you so much for watching my video and I'll see you in the next one. Have a great week. Bye.